like similar to some Tekken characters that have come out as of, as of the last like six months or so. Unless it's like a really surprising uh, character that shows up in either Tekken or Soul Calibur. These are the franchises that I've always been so specifically stuck to certain characters in these 3D fighting games and these Namco 3D fighting games that when other characters show up, it's like, eh, mm, oh, cool, dope. Uh, wow, that thumbnail though, what the hell? Wow, okay. So all I did, all I did was just look at Huang's friggin' thumbnail. That was it. And immediately from the thumbnail, I'm like, whoa, really? <laughs> really? Just, just from the thumbnail alone. Okay. I'm pretty sure based on the visual stylings of this character, maybe it'll be interesting. But uh, like I said earlier, Huang is definitely not a character that I'm going to jump out of my shoes for super amped about coming back into Soul Calibur. So let me fire this up and see if this is going to make me jump in here and play H Wang. Who are these weirdos? He's... <laughs> what the... <laughs> He's just a Bloodborne hunter. He just said, fuck it. He's just... Damn. Damn, Sung Mina. He's just a Bloodborne hunter. What the... What? So my talisman led me to you. <laughs> wow, that is not the voice I was expecting coming from Huang. Definitely isn't. His playstyle definitely looks very Huang-ish. This is a character that I've I've never put much time into. Damn. Oof. A lot of extra shit that they threw onto him. No, my truth breaks. There's no escape. Terrifying blade. It's like it's it's like if it's like if they combined Huang with his like super like Asian martial arts playstyle with like a Bloodborne Hunter. Disciple of darkness. You would do well to fear my shadow. Yeah, that's why I'm all right. I am the light. Let's strike down evil. Huang. Huang. Not Huang. I like, I like Huang. So wait a minute. He's got like... He doesn't have two different versions. Wow. Wow, just the half nipple thing. Is that a lion costume? It totally is. Dude, that was that it's so it seems so deliberate. I don't I shall vanquish the evils of the ages. It seems so it seems so like deliberate. Like the way he looks is so bloodborne huntery that it it, it blows my mind. I mean it, it is obviously the hat. This is this is nowhere near as good. This one's nowhere near as good as this, right? I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest here. He's very much like if, if Bloodborne had a ninja, right? There's no there's no real ninja characters in Bloodborne at all. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it was always my hope that they would eventually add a Souls character or a Bloodborne Hunter or something like that, like a transforming weapon character into uh soul caliber that felt like that that fits so well you know but believe it or not this is this is the end of dlc season two for soul caliber six and somehow being a bandai namco game somehow these dudes never gave us artorius <laughs> that shit blows my i mean I, i'm assuming that FromSoft probably just wasn't okay with it with their characters making appearances and like other things and stuff like that. It's still, this is about as close as we're getting because it looks like a Bloodborne Hunter, which is cool. Artorius is like 12 feet tall. Whatever, man, it's a fighting game. You can, you can change shit. Artorius would have been the greatest fucking guest character in Soul Calibur. And that it blows my mind that that is once again, another Bandai Namco property 
You would think a Dark Souls character would fit perfectly somewhere in, in Soul Calibur, but it just never happened. And I'm only assuming, like I said, that there's some creative differences as far as how those characters are shared between, you know, any of other franchises and stuff like that. I don't know. I think this is about as close as we're getting because I really... It, it, what's funny is that his entire costume looks very much like a ninja, but his head and his feather cloak uh, haired thing is so screamingly bloodborne that it and he's got all the crow feathers he looks like he looks like if it was like a male version of eileen and a ninja put together i think it's cool right i think that's that's a dramatic character redesign that of course i like because he became edgelord mcedgemaster eileen the bro damn damn that's a great name eileen the bro i appreciate that bandai namco is taking some of these big creative liberties with these old in my opinion, somewhat boring Soul Calibur characters. There's some there's some Soul Calibur characters that have just been around and they are just sticking around and they don't really change throughout the years or anything like that. Nah, if you had to choose one, would it be Tifa in Tekken or Bloodborne in Soul Calibur? No, I'd like Tifa in Tekken and a Bloodborne character in Soul Calibur. That's what I want. Once again, I think his, uh, his visual design is quite cool. Huang's gameplay has never been super interesting to me, which is where everything really is going to lie. Uh... I also think the artwork, similar to other, similar to other Soul Calibur 6 characters, the artwork for Huang looks a lot better than his character model does in the game. All this extra magical ninjutsu stuff that he's kind of doing here looks really cool, but that concept art, that that actual official artwork for Huang with the costume looks a lot better than Huang sort of does in action right here in terms of like visual fidelity, you know? Yeah, Raphael has the exact same thing where Raphael is a really cool character visually in terms of artwork, but when it comes to the actual design in the game, it looks kind of like, oh, it looks like it could have been sort of an up Soul Calibur 4 character, you know? And that's because Soul Calibur 6 was obviously a an extremely uh, budget game, right? This game was made with a very constricting budget. This game barely got made at all, the more that we've learned about it over the years. And uh, they've, they've had to carry over a lot of stuff from the previous Soul Calibur games moving into this one. But I think some of this gameplay stuff looks really neat. And I think, you know, especially considering it's me, uh, this design looks ridiculous. This, this looks absolutely ridiculous. It's like they were specifically just trying to appeal towards me, so... We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll give him a shot when, uh, maybe I'll give him a shot when this stuff comes out. Maybe Huang will be the one character to do it.